सो वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ द केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम इन दिस वीडियो आर मेजर फोकस विल बी ऑन के पी द रिलेशन बिटवीन के पी एंड के सी द फैक्टर्स विच एफेक्ट द केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम एंड एग्जाम्पल्स वुड बी टेकन सो दैट इट इज क्वाइट अंडरस्टूड बिफोर बिंग विद दिस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच द पार्ट वन ऑफ द केमिकल इक्लिब्रियम वेर आई हैव डेल्ट विद द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेरिवेशन ऑफ के सी द एक्टिव मास बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो काइंडली वॉच दैट एंड देन वॉच द पार्ट टू ऑफ द केमिकल इक्लिब्रियम नाउ लेट इज कंटिन्यू we are dealing with the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure in this video so that is represented by kp okay that is equal to the partial pressure of c we always know that the react that the product one is given the focus here so uh, the pressure of c that is the partial pressure of c raised to n1 we are considering that everyone is in gaseous form the solids and the liquids are taken to be equal to 1 i have discussed the reason in the part 1 Here we have the partial pressure of D raised to power n two whole upon partial pressure of A raised to power m one into partial pressure of B raised to power m two. Okay, so from here it is quite clear that whenever we are taking the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure, we have to take that in the terms of partial pressure. Now let us try to derive the relation between K P and K C. So we are trying to derive K P as a function of K C. We have taken the equation A A plus B B goes into C C plus D D, where all are in the gaseous phase. So first of all, K P for this equation will be equal to partial pressure of C raised to power C into partial pressure of D raised to power D whole upon partial pressure of A raised to power A into partial pressure of B raised to power B. Let me say that this is some equation one. Now from the ideal gas law, we know that PV is equal to nRT. From here, what I can write is taking V on the other side, we get P is equal to n by V into R into T. Now from here, what is n upon V? What is number of moles upon volume? That is equal to concentration. So the pressure can be written as concentration into R into T. so this relation will be used here where we are going to put the pressure as the concentration into r into t so from here we get kp to be equal to now this pc would become pc that will be equal to c into r into t so that can be written as concentration of c into r into t raised to power c into this pd would become the concentration of d into r into t raised to power d whole upon similarly a would become concentration of a into r into t raised to power a into this thing would become concentration of b into r into t raised to power b from here the value of kp would be equal to taking all the concentration terms together we get c raised to power c into d raised to power d whole upon a raised to power a into b Raised to power b. Now this thing is taken to be one thing which I have written here into R T into R T. Here in the numerator we get C plus D, and from the denominator when we take it in the numerator we get minus of A plus B. So till now we have derived this relation. Now let us try to write the K C for this equation. K C will be equal to concentration of C raised to power C into concentration of D raised to power D whole upon concentration of A raised to power A into concentration of B raised to power B. Let me say that this is some equation number two. Now from the previous page in the equation number one, if you compare this value is equal to K C and that value has been written here. That is C raised to power C, D raised to power D, A raised to power A, B raised to power B. That is the same value which is K C. So what we do is that we put the value of K C from two in one. So put the value of this in the equation number one. You can see this thing becomes K C. So we get K P is equal to K C into R T raised to power C plus D minus A plus B. Now how C plus D Minus a plus b can be manipulated. Calculate the delta n for this equation. The delta n that is the difference in the stoichiometric coefficient of the react products minus reactants. That is products minus reactants. So from here we get d plus c minus of what are the reactants? A plus b. 
So you can see that C plus D minus of A plus B that is written in the power stuff here. So this RT can be raised to the power of delta N. So KP would be equal to KC into RT raised to power delta N. So this is the relation which can be derived for any general equation that is given to you and we can derive the function of Kc and Rt which are related as Kp is equal to Kc into Rt raised to power delta n. Let us do a very basic question so that the concept is clear. This type of similar question was asked in J mains also so I am taking that kind of stuff only. So Kp is equal to Kc into Rt raised to power delta n we all know. First of all, see that if everyone is given in the gaseous phase, yes, each and every substance is present in the gaseous phase, try to find out the delta of n for it. So Kp is equal to Kc into Rt raised to power delta n of the products. So first of all, we have the products that is equal to 2 plus 1 from the product side minus reactant that is only equal to 2. So Rt raised to power 2 plus 1 minus 2. So that will be equal to Kp is equal to Kc into rt raised to power 1 okay so you can see that mathematics is present everywhere if you try to solve each and everything through mathematics as you would have seen my organic chemistry videos also then it becomes very easy now let us move on to our next topic which is the factors on which the kc depends now let us discuss a very important mathematical concept from which the questions are each and every year asked we are going to discuss the factors which affect the equilibrium constant the first factor is the mode of writing the reaction. Now what do we mean by it? Let us try to see. So first of all we say that A2 plus B2 goes into 2AB. Let me say that each one is present in the gaseous phase. So this is the initial reaction which is given to us. What is the Kc for this reaction? Kc for this reaction will be equal to AB raised to power 2 whole upon A2 square into B2 square which is present. So Kc for this reaction will be this one. Let me say it is some equation number 1. Now we reverse the reaction. So we get 2AB which goes into A2 plus B2. First student was given this reaction. The second student was given this reaction to solve. So the Kc for this reaction will be equal to A2 raised to power 1 into B2 raised to power 1 whole upon AB raised to power 2. Let me say this is equation number 2. So what you can see from here, from the equation 1 we get AB whole square whole upon A2 square into B2 square and in the second equation you get the exact reciprocal. You can see this is equal to 1 upon this. Let me say this is some Kc dash. So what is the relation between Kc and Kc dash? That Kc dash would be equal to 1 upon Kc mathematically. So you can see that if we change the mode of writing the reaction, that is if we reverse the reaction in the form in which we write, then the Kc would get the reciprocal of each other. Let us discuss the second factor. The stoichiometric coefficient of the equilibrium reaction. Let me say we once again have been given that A2 plus B2 goes into T2AB where all of these are in the gaseous phase. So what is the Kc for this reaction? The Kc for this reaction will be equal to AB square upon a2 into b2 let me say this is some equation one now what you can see from here let me say in the side only that we have a plus b is equal to some c we multiply the equation on both sides by 2 both of these sides are multiplied by 2 so we get 2a plus 2b is equal to 2c so what you can see from here that both of these equations are still equal because these are multiplied by 2 on both the sides. Similarly, if we multiply by 3 on both the sides, then also both of the equations are equal. So the similar thing I'm going to do here, that if both of these sides are in equilibrium, then we can say, we can multiply each and every term by 2 on both the sides. So from here, what we get? We get 2A2 plus 2B2 gives me 4AB. Now let us try to write the Kc for this reaction. So that will be equal to some Kc dash and that is equal to AB raised to power 4 whole upon A2 square into B2 square. Let me say this is equation number 2. Now what mathematical relation can you derive between Kc and Kc dash? Try to see it very carefully. You can see that if this is equal to let me say some k, this whole thing is equal to some k. So this whole thing 
will be equal to some k square because if you square this thing if you square this thing you would see that we would get this thing which is written here so thus this is equal to k so this is equal to k, k square so what we can say from here that whenever we multiply a number on both the sides of the equilibrium the initial one gets raised to power of that so what we can write the mathematical relation that kc dash will be equal to kc square in this case so what we can say we are multiplied by 2 here if we had multiplied by 3 we would have get we would have got kc raised to power 3 if we would have multiplied by n then what is the relation we would have got raised to power n so that is the thing which i wanted to clear here that whenever a given equilibrium is multiplied by any number n then the e initial equilibrium constant is raised to power that number okay so this is the second point let us move on to the third point the most important factor and from which the questions are yearly asked because the students are confused in it now what is the confusion kindly understand it temperature is the only experimental factor which has an effect on the equilibrium constant okay so let us try to understand what is the meaning of this now why temperature is the only experimental factor now you would be confused that what is the mathematical relation which involves the dependence of the equilibrium constant on temperature because we have seen kc in kc it was dependent on the concentration in kp it was dependent upon the pre partial pressures so similarly here we can see that it would be dependent upon the temperature this is 1 by t1 and this is 1 by t2 now what you can see from here we are comparing two equilibrium constants you can see that the right hand side only depends on the temperature that is t1 and t2 k2 and k1 these are the equilibrium constants so from this relation which is also known as the van't hoff's equation you can see that the mathematical dependence is only on the temperature which basically one by temperature which i have written here or you can say basically temperature only because this is log of k2 by k1 and it is not clear that how it would go exponentially okay so we are saying that the equilibrium constant would only depend on the temperature it can be inverse relation it can be exponential relation whatever relation can be present but it only depends on the temperature that is the clear thing which should be kept in your head now why i am saying temperature let us see we have kc we have kp we have a a plus b b goes into c c plus d d let me say we calculate the value of kc from here so kc from here would be equal to concentration of c raised to power c into concentration of d raised to power d whole upon concentration of a raised to power a into concentration of b raised to power b that is equal to some kc now the students are actually confused here that the mathematical relation of kc only involves the concentration in this part so how can temperature change the value of kc so let me make you understand that so we have this reaction which was given initially so you say that you increase the concentration of a okay so if you increase the concentration of a mathematically this value would change here okay but what would happen the other thing mathematically that would also happen that if a has been increased okay then the then the denominator increases Similarly, this A would start dissociating, that is it would go on the other side, raising the concentrations of D and C also. So this and this would also be increased. What mathematically it can be said? Let me say, we have the initial value of Kc to be equal to 4 by 3. Now we increase the value of A, so that these, these two things will also increase because this has to dissociate in this direction only. So let me say, the next equilibrium constant becomes 8 by 6 what you can see from here this thing has also increased these two things have also increased but the ratio comes out to be equal to same that is 4 by 3 only so this is the thing which I want to make you understand that the concentrations or the pressures that is the partial pressures won't have any effect on the equilibrium constant the only factor experimental factor which has an effect on the equilibrium constant is temperature Okay, I hope that this very important point is clear to you. Okay, so this was this video regarding the uh, equilibrium constant where we have discussed the relation between Kp and Kc, the factors which affect this reaction. Please understand it very well. Kindly check out my organic chemistry courses and mathematics courses which are free for uh, all of you on Unacademy. 
If there are any doubts in this video, kindly ask me in the comment section. In the next video, we shall be discussing the very important topic that is the degree of dissociation. So please watch the part one and part two very carefully so that you are able to understand the next part also very well. So thank you and all the best to all of you.